tuned in. This is my lockdown um, beginners out of kit series for Treasure House of Makeup and Seventa Makeup Academy. Um, so we're talking burns, we're talking second degree burns, we are talking heat radiation, we are talking steam, hot water, oil. Um, in some cases, um, in some cases we're talking sunburns that go into a second degree from a first degree burn. In some cases we're talking friction, however friction burns I will cover differently because they do appear differently. Likewise contact burns such as if you get yourself burned with an iron or the oven appear differently as well, okay? So, um, so the products, we, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna be old school today. We, the other day we were working with Sculpt Um Today we're going back to a bit of latex. And I tell you why, um, sometimes you don't have the luxury of expensive products, nor do you have the luxury as a beginner to, um, to, to keep practicing with expensive products. So the aim is if you manage to create this, well, I'll create this with latex today and then I'm going to create it also with uh, Sculptor next week and you see the difference, okay? So second degree burns, okay, second degree burns. We have gone from the epidermis to the dermis. Dermis, we're looking at capillaries, we're looking at um, the sebaceous gland where it starts, we're looking at the um, hair follicles, that's where it all sits, okay? So this is the thick, the, this is the middle layer of the skin. Second degree burns um, <clears throat> are characterized by um, pustules and blisters and pinky skin and it tends to be very painful because the nerve endings sit in the second, in the sort of dermis, okay? So that's why it's bloody painful. So we are going to work with a little bit of latex. So today we are working with Meron liquid latex in clear, although it looks white, it, is, it does dry clear, has no tint. And the reason I like the clear one, it just, it just gives a much nicer finish, okay? So um, before we do that, I want you to, um, let's cleanse the skin, shall we? Because, um, because we need to. Okay. Marvellous. I'm just checking my teeth because I've just had my lunch. So, so there we go. Um, Oh, hello. Let's just turn that off so we don't have people bothering us. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. Right, second degree burns. Um, characterised by, as I said, pustules, both inflated and deflated um, blisters. In this case, I'm going to give you some deflated blisters. And then next week we'll do some inflated blisters because there's various ways to do that, okay? So we'll start with the easy one, which is this. As I said, we're going old school, we're going latex. You know, obviously make sure that um, <clears throat> anyone that you've, you're you using this has been patch tested. Let me remind you how you patch test someone. Have you seen my Easter egg at the back of the top of my cover? I've got an Easter egg that's for my mother that's been sitting here because I haven't been, you know, due to lockdown. Here she is, bless her. Now, I don't know who's watching. Who's actually watching? Oh, hello. I've got two lovely makeup artists. I've got... I've got Madalena and I've got Chloe. Gorgeous. Right, okay, so, because um, this gets released later on, it goes to colleges. So we patch test a little bit. All of you know how to do that. I use latex, latex all the time, but it's always, oh, hello, treasure makeup. There we go. Hello, treasure makeup. Um, we're going a bit old school treasure makeup. We're going back to latex because we're doing second degree burns today <clears throat> with latex. And then next week we start moving to gelatin and also um, back to silicon. So we've patch tested, we are fine, we're happy. And essentially what you're creating, you want to start creating, um, oh, here I am, my God, an old school friend. Hello, love, welcome. Um, we create different layers of depth. Now, if you pick a, if you burn yourself, we scald yourself with hot water and you get a, bru a, a blister and you pick the blister out, you take the skin off, you'll see pink skin, okay? You'll see it, the inside's quite pink. You must remember this, okay? Um, now, as, as always, please work with reference images if you do not have a medical background and you do not kind of see it in your mind. 
So the Aurora Latex, broken sponge, use the broken edge, okay? So we're going to create a lovely, let's stipple some latex. Let's tipple the area we want. Andy, hello, welcome, welcome love, welcome to the next demo. I hope you're well. Now, as you know, latex dries clear. So when it's clear, it might appear white, but when it's clear, it means it's ready to go. So we can speed this up with a hairdryer. Um, but I don't think we need to, because to be honest, it's quite warm today. It's a lovely day and um, you can hear me talking instead. So, <clears throat> so latex is going to give us the, the 3D effect that we're trying to look for, okay? So there we go, that's clear. So that's one layer. I'm going to do, <clears throat> you want to keep it quite natural for now. So I'm going to do two layers, I think. Let's do two, maybe three, who knows. Notice I am not stretching the skin, unlike aging, I am not stretching the skin. I'm not doing anything as the skin dries. I'm literally just applying it. I'm stippling it on so my edges are lovely and thin. Um, a bit of a bit of a bit of latex that's just kind of sometimes you do get this well hello hello welcome 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 right so here we go that's two layers of latex I think we'll do a third one and then we will we'll crack on with the burn shall we Notice I am stippling it on, trying to ensure my latex doesn't, latex will stick to latex, okay? So you've got to be careful. As I said, I'm using Meron latex in white, dries clear, lovely product, all from Treasure House. And I keep banging on about this, but the reason I love Treasure House so much is because it's a family-run company. And I do think you do get a better, like Mr. Dashbo, like many other smaller companies, you get a better service when it's family-run. So there you go. You can see it drying. Okay, lovely. We don't do any more for now. All right. So now we're going to pick. Now, a word to the wise. You're going to start using tools here to pick blisters. Please be careful with who you're picking the tool at. Because if you're not sure how to work with this, you can scratch or damage someone. Okay. And as you can see... The Venter Makeup Academy, welcome. I'm just concentrating because I'm trying not to poke my own eye out. Try not to be too... Ooh. I need to give myself a wrinkle there. That's not what I want. Try not to be too 
specific about how you do these um, holes, okay? Right, so there's those two. I'm going to do a bit more. And just build it. Just build it in sections. So notice that latex test has bunched together. That's actually going to be great because we can do a, a um, we can do a blister around that. I'm going to do some on my nose. Why not? Let's do the nose. So for those of you that are interested, I run. We at Seven to Makeup Academy run quite a lot of different courses: um, beginners, intermediate, advanced. I run a four day, four session, four day, two day or four evenings casualty workshop. I do the same for beginners. Um, I do a flat molding weekend that can be done in the evenings. What else do I do? I do a bald cap application. All the course details are on the Seventa Makeup Academy website and we use Exclusively, kids from Treasure House of Makeup. Treasure House of Makeup. So I'm kind of working with the th Oh, hello, lovely Kelly Taylor, gorgeous makeup artist. There she is. Now, the one thing I'll say about this is that if you rip without direction you might you might take too much so just be careful Kelly we're doing a bit of old-fashioned effects darling a bit of burns with latex All right, so you can see this my blistered skin burst. Yeah, nose there, there, there. Yeah, okay. So let us start coloring. Let us start coloring. Now, I will say this point don't get overexcited with the color. Okay, don't get overexcited. Because I see this in too many artists, they start applying colour willy-nilly and then they realise what's happened. Now, let me show my phone doesn't fall down. Now, skin, when it burns, it will go a bit yellowy. The inside will be quite pink with the edges a bit darker, okay? So let's first of all do our inside. Actually, no, let's do our, our yellow first of all. We like our yellow. So I'm working with my, what am I doing? 184 Delium brush. And I'm going to use Meron Pro Coloring. What color is that? Yellow Maze, that one. Diluted down with alcohol. Now, be careful, too much alcohol will break the latex. We'll, we'll start, oh, yeah, just drop me, drop me brush will start making the latex come apart so please be careful don't overdo it again take your time applying Another good way of doing this, which I'm going to show you, is this one, okay? Mm -hmm. 
it will give you the it'll give you the coverage you want see what I mean without being too intense because that already is too intense I'm gonna have to take some away that's too much too much let's just quickly let's my mugs Take some away. Better. Yeah. Right. Next we go with a bit of a red. That one. Chanel number five, hello. She's going to be hosting a lovely quiz for my Pride in London team later on. Very exciting. Now be careful with this. You don't end up looking like you've got blood splatters. So your this action needs to be very gentle. You don't want big splatters, yes? This will give you the pink tinge that you're looking for, for the burn. Okay. So we're getting there, we're getting there. It's looking quite exciting. It's looking quite exciting. Now we go to our Ben Nye, Ben Nye, so this is a pot I made earlier, but Ben Nye, you can buy them as singles. This is called Burnt Coral, Burnt Coral, and it's in the Ben Nye Grease Paint Palette, effects palette, okay? Also incidentally, this is a lovely colour for period cheekbones, for period cheeks. Raina, my God, hello, one of my fabulous all base students. Hello, Raina, welcome. So we now go with our lovely pink, which we're going to dilute. So today, this morning, I was teaching singing. Now I'm doing a bit of makeup. We keep busy. Now, make sure you get right under the blister. Angie, hello darling. Angie's gonna be making a special product, a special thing for me, aren't you Angie? Now I just just take the I take that out a bit. So this is burning with latex. So we're going back to basics, back to what used to be done. What I'm now doing is I'm taking a darker colour inside to give it the depth. Bit too much that, bit too much. Yeah, that's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. 
So you can see, we just keep blending those colors in. You don't want harsh lines, okay? You've just got to be really, really quite gentle with this coloring. Notice I just literally use what is on my hand with a bit of alcohol. Too many makeup artists get it too excited and they use far too much colour everywhere. So just really keep working on those blisters basically. Far too much colour, so we want to take some colour away. I have an aversion to things that have been overcoloured, as you know. There's no need for overcolouring. Yeah, that's looking great. Can you see? It just just blend the colour, don't over colour. Now remember, if you have blisters there, the rest of the skin is going to be irritated. So don't forget about the rest of the skin. Okay, so I want to add more pink into those big blisters, okay? I believe, I think those big blisters need a bit more love from me. By the way, if you have any questions, post away. And I stipple the colour in, I never just merrily paint ever always stipple 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 to be honest I'm not using the best brush for that let's just get a better brush there we go mm -hmm. So I hope you're all having a lovely day. It's bank holiday weekend. Anyone got any lovely plans? I was thinking going out to a bar. Of course it's now become my garden. Notice I'm working underneath the skin. Yes, can you see the skin? The skin flap, there you go. Really get under that skin. Oh, that's far too bright, far too bright. Don't like it, too bright. So we now take away some colour, blend it down, blend it down, blend it down. It's probably actually far too bright as it is, so I'm going to take a little bit of colour off. So what you do, you spray a wipe with a bit of alcohol and you literally press it down, yeah? That's how much it, it literally takes, it, you probably can't see it, but it takes a tiny bit away. Oh, lovely, how gorgeous. Angie, are these gonna be available for sale? So Angie is a fabulous artist. It's a feather and pearl collection. Oh my God. Where are you going to have it? Are they going to be on sale somewhere, my love? Fabulous. So 
So I'm now using the edge of my, the, the literally the point of my pointed brush just to do a bit of detail. Oh yes, please do. Fabulous. I'm a big believer in feathering colour, okay? I like to feather. Like this. See what I mean? Then it just looks a bit angry in different ways. The worst thing to see is non-textured makeups. Awful. So there we go. That's what we're looking at at the moment. We're going to add a bit more splattering. I've got my red yellow mix, which is going to a kind of dusky pink. No problem. Take care. Thank you. So now, very exciting because we add another product, if I can find it. Okay. This is Sweat. Thank you so much. Uh, as you see, it's very simple. I'm not doing a lot, okay? Remember, simple basic effects as a, as a makeup artist, when you do, when you're a makeup crew and you're not part of the prosthetics team, you will have to do a lot of simple effects. And sometimes, especially on low budgets, you know, you won't have the budget for silicon. I mean, I love silicon pieces, but you just sometimes will just not have the budget. So this is Sweat and Tears by Meron. which is a glycerin mix, just to let you know what it is. Now, it comes with a handy applicator, but I don't like it. So I tend to just, on my little lid, pour a little out. Hello, Eleni. Fabulous vocalist, Eleni. Now don't overdo this. Again, I'm going to take some away, it's far too much. Too many artists get excited with sweat. Like they get excited with blood, okay? Don't get too excited. By the way, when you put sweat and tears it might feel a little warm and that's normal and there we are there we go there's a quick second degree burn with latex next week we shall move into the realms of gelatin and silicon and we will show you what it looks like then so from me and the Treasure House and the Seventa Makeup Academy family, please have a lovely weekend. I know it's sunny. I know it's gorgeous out there, but don't be silly. Don't go and socialize. You know, please observe social distancing. Be safe. Be careful. Um, if you need to talk, I'm always here. So is Seventa. So is Treasure House. So just message us. Instagram us. Well, you know, we're here to listen. We're here to help. So, um, there we go. Now you could put a little bit of blood in there. You could put a bit of a blood blister. Now that's when it becomes a, um, you normally don't draw blood until you're in kind of close to a third degree. When exactly is the next demo? The next demo is going to be, so next week, bank holiday Monday. So it'll be Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. So it's normally Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Next week we'll probably do Wednesday, 
Let me check my diary actually. What are we doing next week? Next week we will do. Let's do. We'll do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. Same time, two o'clock. Um, now, if you if this was a deep second degree burn, you could put a tiny bit of blood in that blister. And if you want, I'll add a tiny bit of blood just to show you. Let's go from. Let's go for. Hmm, as it's fresh, let's go for fresh blood, shall we? Pleasure, pleasure. Oh, no, that's not the one. Where's my, where's my blood? Oh, there it goes, in front of me. Whoops. Again, it comes with a handy applicator. I don't like them. So I use my, I, do, I, I tend to kind of use my own. Don't overdo it. And you'll find some bloods, because they have a lot of sugar, they will beat, they'll separate. Now, if you want to stop this doing, mix a tiny bit of washing up liquid with the blood and it won't separate. If it's not silicon blood, it will be sugar and it will separate. It will, call, it will cause beading. So I'm now using a bit of scab by Ben Nye. That was, by the way, that was Meron stage blood. Meron stage blood. There we go. Enough. Done. You see? So keep it nice and simple, keep it effective, keep it realistic. You need to look at it and go, is that real? Yes, no. That's the question. That's the only question we want to ask ourselves. Okay. I could probably do that inside a tiny bit pink here. So let's put a bit more pink in there. I'm taking the blood off because it never, otherwise you end up with blood all over your hands. Now, another little trick to remove blood. I don't know if you know, but how to remove the red from the blood from your hands. Does anyone know? I'll give you a second to answer. No, no one knows. Right, shaving foam or shaving gel. Shaving foam's better. Shaving foam all over your hands will break the blood down. There we go, Angie knew the answer. Shaving foam it is. Now, men will be more accustomed to this unless you ladies shave your legs. Of men because you know I've shaved my legs before lots of times and other bits and pieces you can tell this is my second degree burn with old-fashioned latex so have a lovely weekend stay safe lots of love and see you soon bye bye